we have a great live concierge program where if you're a brokerage and you know you're looking to potentially hire an ISA, Boomtown provides a service with live concierges where we'll actually scrub and qualify leads as they come in for you and serve all that information up to you. Um, so you know, provide basically leads that are appointment ready and you know kind of bubble all that information up for you. Um, but also just the all-in-one solution. You know, a lot of different brokers that we talk to. They're using one vendor for lead generation, they're using a website developer separately, and they have a separate service for CRM. So really having everything all in one really just kind of helps you stay organized and you know, going through one vendor just makes your life a little bit easier. So not trying to have like seven different logins. Right, exactly. And then try to copy paste <laughs> yeah. information from right. over there. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Everyone loves doing that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, so no fragmented systems. You know? right. So going through one vendor for everything kind of just makes your life a little bit easier. Okay, and, yeah. and now so how, so now you're, you're, you're helping you know, agents and brokerages and teams get onto Boomtown. How would you say that your past experience, because I, you mentioned that you were doing some, some work at the news station yeah. too. How would you say, the, and then before that, hotel, event management, yeah. how did all of that kind of add together and create that perfect environment to make you, to, to really create the skill sets that you needed to do to really help serve agents and, and, yeah. and, help, and help educate agents on, on Boomtown? Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, sales is a process, man. It's it's really tough to, you know, develop that skill set with sales. You know, for some people, it definitely comes more naturally. Um, you know, I remember when I first started doing sales, you know, making a cold call was, was really hard. You know, it's, it's, you're kind of out of your comfort zone. So, you know, along the years, I really learned that, you know, if you really make it about the clients and learning about what challenges they're facing and try to really be, you know, a helping hand for them as opposed to just pushing something on them, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be much more successful at the end of the day. So I always try to make it 80% about them. You know, what challenges are they experiencing? You know, what are their goals in their business, and how can I help? Am I even the right fit for them? You know, mm -hmm. I'll, sometimes I'll tell people like, hey, this might not be the right fit. You know, I, I want to really have it be collaborative and um, allow me to learn more about their business to see if we're a good fit. So just developing that skill set. You know, being all right with getting uncomfortable and, and making cold calls and putting myself out there. Um, really kind of helped my journey along the way and um, you know Boomtown's been great they provide a ton of resources and helping me out as well so you know sales is tough to break into but once you're in it and you kind of get that experience you know it's a path and a journey to where you kind of learn the right ways to go about it yeah and it sounds like you're not just trying to sell them something sell something to everyone right like you're you're really getting the feedback having a conversation with the prospect or sure. potential client and if it's not a good fit You'll tell them. Right. Yeah, yeah. you'll tell them. I also think maintaining those relationships is really important. You know, that's going to help you at the end of the day in terms of networking and, and uh, you know, them referring you potential clients in the future as well. Um, you know, my background in the news uh, department also just helped with me being able to speak to marketing as well. So that was really helpful. And that's what every, every business owner needs. I guess it doesn't matter if you have the best, you know, crab cake in the whole town <laughs> if nobody knows about it right exactly. you know your restaurant's not going to do very well yeah you definitely got to educate people about it as well so all right so in, in your i want to jump back and, and just kind of in the going back in the because i have friends that worked in kind of events and sure. hotel and, and you were at uh, at a big hotel mm -hmm. in, in in dc dc proper yeah um, what's if you could just you know just keep it real what's one of the the um non-real estate non boom time related what's one of the kind of uh wildest craziest situations you've seen because i know you've seen a lot in the events sure. space you, have, you don't have to name any any companies or anything <laughs> but but when you were in that space what was one of the kind of one of the wildest uh, i mean i can tell you when i worked front desk of a hotel um i've got a good story i was i was in alexandria and i was working at uh at a hotel there and um it got it was below freezing one night on in uh, the winter and it started flooding in the lobby i mean there was like a foot of water in the lobby we okay. had guests coming to check in, and our general manager was literally taking buckets and throwing water okay. out of the lobby. <laughs> we right. got people trying to check in. Um, <laughs> not, a yeah. welcome, <laughs> yeah, not a good exactly. welcome. Not a good welcome. So scene. just handling things as they kind of come at you, you know, and, and being able to think on your feet and you know just kind of adapt to that situation. But that was pretty crazy for me. Yeah, and that probably <laughs> and and that that adaptability helps you with sales and help sure. you with um, overcoming you know certain objections and, sure. and being you know, being able to take it and, and, and give it back and kind of spin it around and make right. the best of a situation because I know that wasn't yeah. a, uh, I'm sure the guests were very apprehensive when they yeah. were. When you gotta they be were able to think out. on your toes a little bit, you know, especially for objections as they come at you and be able to handle them as well. So just like you mentioned. All right, awesome. And so now so now you're in Charleston, you said you've been there about five years. Yep. Um, loving Charleston, nice. Yep. I mean, it's a pretty nice town. You get, get to the beach often. 
you go to the beach, uh, experience a ton of really good food. There's great restaurants downtown. Um, I just bought a house a year ago in a really cool area. It's called Park Circle. It's kind of up and coming. Um, people down there are super friendly. It's a, it's a little more slower pace compared to DC, which is probably more my style. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Charleston's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, well, similar to, I mean, I guess, you know, Gaithersburg, you know, so it's not too, but then, but it, with the views and things. Right. So exactly. it's just like this, just like the suburbs, but different. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a professional surfer by now? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> more like Fisher. Fisher. I like fishing. to, I like to practice golf as well. I'm not great at that, but I like to play a lot. But yeah, yeah I like to, to fish. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> so fish, fishing is the thing. Yeah, that's what All I like right. to do down there. Well, if, if we wanted to reach you and, and, and if you had any, any prospective agents or, sure. or brokers or team leads that wanted to talk to you about Boomtown, how would, how would they reach you? Uh, give me a call on my cell phone. I'm always available. Um, it's 301-704-3950. Still got the Maryland area code. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but Charleston, and, and Boomtown's based in Charleston, you said, right? Boomtown is headquartered in Charleston. Yep. Headquartered in Charleston. 700 yep. employees, and yeah, it sounds like you're doing an awesome job helping us as agents and Definitely. brokers and team leads get more business. So, yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on, Melvin. All right, thanks. Thank you.